So I've had a major win here. This is a, a mega board, um, well, cheap clone of an Arduino mega, um, followed a load of different tutorials, mostly uh, Tom Salanderas on uh, YouTube for how to burn a bootloader because a while back I bought this plastic printer uh, in a pretty bad state. Uh, it's a CTC Pro B, Prosser B type clone. Um, and it has this GT2560, 2560 board. Um, that one there is the one it came with and it was bought in a broken state that um, the guy professed, oh, it's been working for a while and then it just stopped working out of the blue. And clearly I've just found out that that's probably bullshit. Um, so what have I got here? These are just the uh, LCD screen, um, which is up here, which uh, you're probably not going to be able to see, but uh, yeah, there's some writing on the screen, which actually means that the firmware has just got flashed onto that. Um, <coughs> I bought the board behind it, believing that this one was broken, swapped it all over. Um, the board that I bought was working, except that this x-axis here was swapped around, which, you know, uh, I could have swapped wires on the stepper motor, but um, inevitably, eventually, I'll need to flash the firmware to get things like um, the positions of the... Uh, head relative to the um, the platform and you know there, there are things that I'd like to be able to change in the firmware so it wasn't really feasible just having a stock um, bit of firmware that I couldn't really change. Um, I also changed this out thinking that um, there was a problem with it but probably what was the case was this might have had some dodgy firmware or like corrupted firmware that was holding the MOSFET open. So the MOSFET's probably not bad, which is good because I've not really binned it. I need to test it. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, it's been a real win because I've now got two working boards. The annoyance is that um, I've had to connect all these wires up in the right arrangement. Um, I used, that was the only 0.1 um, microfarad or 100 nanofarad capacitor I had. It's not an electrolytic like the Arduino um, web page says you should use, uh, but it seemed to work. It's something about stopping it resetting. Um, the thing that uh, really got this to work is this orange pin here, which is in pin 10. Um, on this board everything else is pretty much as per as the website suggests um, there are other things to overcome uh, this is just a Marlin um, firmware that I downloaded but the thing that really uh, helps is this um, this is uh, specific to the GT2560 uh, um, board that you've just seen down there, the white and blue one. Um, what is different is the baud rate for the speed essentially that the board communicates compared to a normal, in fact it's, it's the same as an Atmel Mega, oh, where's that gone? Bear with us. Try again. Eh. Oh, well, that's ridiculous. Oh, that would help, wouldn't it? So, um, sorry. What was I saying? Uh, the the speed of this uh, board here is not the same as just a typical. Um, AT Mega 2560 which runs twice the speed it's actually the same as the AT Mega 1280 so it's little the one with half the memory 
uh, it runs at the speed of that. So it's a bit of a weird hybrid. And the other thing is that um, took me a long time to work out reading the forums is this line here, sorry, this line here, when you're using a, if you can get the bootloader to work, which I never could, um, the fuse sets at 0xd8. If you're programming it via the um, ISP using a mega like I have or an Uno or whatever, but you're using a ISP as programmer, you need to set that value to 0xd9. So that's how it's saved right now. That's commented out with the hashes. That's the one that it's actually reading. So yeah, that section I cribbed off of a website uh, where a guy, uh, the thief, he, that was his handle um, in, a, in the forum that I read. That was instrumental in getting this to work. Um, but yeah, I've been working at this for about two days now because what I'm trying to do is print these which are petals for my Nissan Leaf um, so they go in the alloys that will hopefully cut down on the wind resistance or improve the aero of it I've got one here printing on a Aina A8 with a Bowden and this setup is working remarkably well right now it's, uh, it's obviously done all of those but I need 20 of them because there's five holes in each alloy and there's um, <coughs> four wheels on a car and the maths. Actually, I've got two leafs, so uh, I kind of want to be able to do the other one as well. So I need 40 of these, um, which is a little bit ridiculous, but um, yeah, I am where I am. So anyway, um, I thought I'd make a video because otherwise I'd forget what I did to get here and to get two boards functional in one night and I'm really tempted to um, to buy the gubbins and print the gubbins for a third printer now because I've got the board for it um, or at least you know it's a it's nice to have a spare but uh, yeah I just need to get this one up and running um, Anyway, that's enough for this video.